Hello everyone, my name is Kyoko Ofaisen, but most people prefer to call me Ki or Kiki. By clicking this video, I'm sure you already have an idea about what I'll be discussing. And yes, this is my lifespan video for my EB201 Human Growth and Development course at the University of Guam. Now let's get started. Today, I will be going over my entire lifespan with the stages of development by Eric Erickson. Some of you may be wondering, who is Eric Erickson? Well, to answer your question, he is a developmental psychologist and psychoanalyst known for his theory or stages on psychological development of human beings. It all started on November 7, 2001, when my parents welcomed their 6 pound 19 inch daughter at a birthing center called Sago Manyago around 9.02 a.m. According to Eric Erickson, from birth to 18 months, or one and a half years of age, we experience the stage of trust and mistrust. Within this stage of our lives, we are new and are very unsure about the world in which we live in. At this stage, we also tend to depend on our caretakers in order to provide us with the stability and consistency of care. With that being said, if there may be a deficiency with stability and sense of care, then that is when we lean towards mistrust. As you can see, I was blessed to grow up in a trusting and caring home, which allowed me to obtain a great sense of contentment with the individuals around me, as well as the relationships I have managed to build today. Here are a few pictures of me enjoying myself with gifts, swimming in what looks like a big Tupperware, and a picture of my late cousin Donovan, who unfortunately is no longer with us in this world, but has made a huge impact in my life and provided me with endless love and care. Within the next few slides are additional pictures of myself from birth to 18 months. And the next stage we have of Erickson's stages of development is autonomy versus shame and doubt. This stage occurs between the ages one and a half to three years. At this stage, children are focused on developing a sense of personal control over physical skills and a sense of independence. Children in this stage are encouraged and supported to increase their confidence and secure their ability to survive in this world. However, if there is a chance children become criticized or not given the opportunity to care for themselves, then unfortunately, they begin to feel inadequate in their ability to survive in this world. Well, lucky for me, I did not feel that way at all, and with the opportunities that I've had, I'm confident to be able to survive in this world. During this stage, children become mobile and start doing things on their own. As seen in the middle picture, it seems to me as if I were holding a pitcher of water. During this stage, children also ask for things in which they want and make decisions on their own. As you can see on the bottom left picture, I was playing dress up and obviously wanted to become a bride. Other than that, I was told I love to pet animals and enjoy the company of the individuals around me. The third stage of Erickson's stages of development is initiative versus guilt. This stage happens between the ages 3 to 5 years. During this stage, I asserted myself to play and have social interactions with others, whether it may be at family gatherings, at public places like the mall, or even at different social events. Just like the picture here in the bottom, where I'm dancing with my father at his words Christmas party. Given the opportunities I have gained through socializing and being involved with others, I developed a sense of initiative and a sense of security in my ability to lead others and make decisions. However, a significant value to this stage is if there may be a possibility of criticism or control, children will obtain a sense of guilt and with that, children begin to slow their interaction with others and inhibit their own creativity. As you can see, I was very photogenic and loved to try and communicate and socialize myself with others around me.
And the next stage of Erikson's stages of development is industry versus inferiority. This stage occurs between the ages 5 to 12 years. In this stage, I learned how to read, write, to do sums, and to do things on my own. I was encouraged and reinforced by my parents to feel competent and confident in myself to have the ability to achieve many goals in my life. If there is a failure to be encouraged and reinforced, then the child may feel a sense of doubt about his or her abilities and then moving forward may not reach their full potential. Throughout the ages 5 to 12, I feel I have done many things which made me feel confident, encouraged, and reinforced. And I wouldn't have done those things without the help of my family, friends, teachers, and numerous individuals who have impacted my life. The next stage we have is identity versus role confusion, and this stage happens between the ages 12 to 18 years. During this stage, I grew a sense of self and personal identity through an exploration of personal values, beliefs, and goals. In correlation to Piaget's stages of cognitive development, the formal operational stage happens within the stage as well. I gained the ability to think abstractly and to handle theoretical ideas or problems. Also, this is where I observed and gained a sense of relationships with the individuals around me. The next stage we have is intimacy versus isolation, and this stage occurs between the ages 18 to 40 years. However, I am only 19 years old, so the pictures I will be providing are from 18 years old up until now. Anyways, during this stage, I essentially formed intimate, loving relationships with others. I expressed myself more intimately and started to explore relationships, which will lead to long-term commitments. In relation to Piaget's stages of cognitive relationships, this stage is also the formal operational stage, where I execute problem solving and think of philosophical, ethical, political, and social issues, which encourages me to do abstract, theoretical, and hypothetical deductive reasoning. And with all the stages I have mentioned, whether it may be from Erickson and Piaget, my plan is to grasp all these virtues and pertain them to the rest of my life in order to live a long, happy, and responsible life, as well as commit and provide to this world in which we live in. Thank you all so much for listening, and please enjoy the rest of my video.